Hey guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you how you can reproject the textures you have on a model onto a model that has a lower polygon count. So in this particular case, I've got a 3D scan I did using photogrammetry that has, I'll show you right away, a very high polygon count, roughly 200,000 faces. So before we get started here, I'm using Blender 2.79, not the latest version, but an older version. So I'm going to press shift D to duplicate this model here. Once you're, once you have it selected, now I have two models over here. I'm going to rename this one to low for the low poly model. It's going to be our new one. Now I'm going to go ahead and hide the high poly model so we can see what we're doing here. Let's go ahead and reduce the face count by let's say half. So that's about a hundred thousand. Let's reduce it even further. Another half, 50,000. So now I've reduced it to the point where you can see that there is some texture warping happening right here because the vertices are being thrown around. And this is the entire purpose of reprojecting the textures from the higher polygon count model to the lower one. Make sure you don't move the position of these models as they have to be completely overlapping with, of course, some margin because the vertices will be thrown around a bit. So looking at this, it's pretty low poly. I think I'll stay with this. Let's go to the top right here, open up a split screen view. Top left down here, let's go, let's click on image editor. Let's make a new image. And the higher the size you make, the better texture quality you're going to get, but of course the, a larger file size. Let's just call this one new bake for the a new texture map here. So going over here to the uh, data section of our model, our low polygon model, going all the way down to UV maps, make a new UV map, keep the first one there, make sure the new one is selected. Over to this window over here, let's hit the tab button to go into edit mode. Now we're going to just recreate the UV map. This part may not be necessary, but when you're dealing with photogrammetry, your UV map could be rather messy. So I'm gonna hit the U key on my keyboard, hit smart UV map, hit okay. And now it's been unwrapped in a more organized fashion. And don't mind it looking like a mess over here. It's still going to work out. So when you hit tab and you go into edit mode, you got to make sure that your new image is selected. So go down here and select new bake. So when you hit tab over here again, it goes out of it. Now when you go back to it, it automatically goes to new bake. That's the key to making this work. So now going over here to the camera, all the way to the bottom, there's a section called bake. Go into that section for bake mode set that to textures because that's all we want. We want selected to active. And now let's bring our high polygon model back. Select the high polygon model, then shift, hold the shift key and select the low polygon model and hit bake. And now if we hide the high polygon model and we get rid of the old UV map in the data section here, go to materials, Let's get rid of this material and make a new one. Let's just call it new mat for new material. I'm going to hit shade list down here, down in the shade section, just so I can see it in my viewport here. Go to textures right beside the material section, hit new. And now let's go ahead and select our new bake. And as you can see here, this is the new texture that we baked onto the low poly mesh. I can see already that the texture quality has been decreased because of the size of the image I have here. If I go ahead and grab the high poly model, move it aside a little bit, we can get a better view. So paying close attention to the soda can right here, we can see that this text is not illegible at all. And this one is a little bit clearer over here. And if you look at the model Yoda's face, very clear here, blurry here. So what we can do is make another image and make it larger to increase the texture quality here. So I'm going to go ahead and show you that. Let's call this new bake two and right below it, instead of 1024, let's change it. Let's double that 2024 and hit okay. So selecting your high poly model, cause I did move it out of the way, hit alt then G and that'll restore it back to its original position right under the low poly model. Making sure when you hit tab, it goes to the new image, new bake two. Let's select the high polygon model, shift, right click the low polygon model, go to the camera tab or the render tab all the way to the bottom and let's bake this again. Selecting the high polygon model, hiding it for a second there, 
Going to the texture tab of this model, let's update the image it's going to use. We want to use new bake 2 and moving the high polygon model side by side to this one, we can see that there's very little difference between the two. The soda cans are both sort of equally illegible. And actually, I didn't even notice, but the low polygon model is on the right here and the higher one is on the left this time. Make sure, of course, that you save the images you're making here as it doesn't get saved automatically and you don't want to lose all of your hard work. I'm going to go ahead and delete the high polygon model and Alt-G to bring it back to where its origin point was before I moved it. And now we have a model that has very little polygons and retained the texture quality that I wanted, especially for a photogrammetry model. So if you want any more tutorials about photogrammetry, please post in the comment section below. If you have any questions, post there too. Make sure you drop a like on this video for more videos just like this, more tutorials. And I'll see you in the next one.